In a previous video, we stated two facts about the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of symmetric matrices. First, we said that the eigenvalues of a symmetric matrix are all real numbers. No complex numbers that aren't real occur as the roots of the characteristic polynomial. The second fact that we stated is that the eigenvectors of a symmetric matrix corresponding to distinct eigenvalues are orthogonal. This video gives proofs of these two facts. So the first fact we want to prove is that if A is a symmetric matrix, then all of its eigenvalues are real numbers. To prove this, let's suppose that lambda is an eigenvalue and v is an eigenvector for that eigenvalue. If we compute the length of a times v squared, remember that's the same thing as a times v dotted with a times v, which is the same thing as taking the a times v vector, which is a column vector, transposing it to make a row vector, and then multiplying by a v, which is a column vector. That matrix multiplication also multiplies corresponding entries and adds them up, just like dot product does. Now remember, when we take the transpose of a product, that's the same thing as doing the product of the transposes in the other order. So I can rewrite this as follows. And since A is symmetric, A transpose is just the same thing as A. Now, since V is supposed to be an eigenvector for the eigenvalue lambda for A, A times V is just lambda times V. Let me pull the lambda out. And once again, A times V is lambda times V. Once again, pull the lambda out. And V transpose times V is just the same thing as V dot V, or the same thing as the length of V squared. Therefore, if I put the far left side and the far right side of this string of equations together, I get the length of AV squared is lambda squared times the length of V squared. In other words, if I divide by the length of V squared, I'm getting that lambda squared is the length of AV squared over the length of V squared. Notice that it's legit to divide by the length of V squared because V is supposed to be an eigenvector, so it can't be the zero vector, so it can't have length zero. So I'm not dividing by zero here. In fact, I have something on the numerator that's gotta be positive or zero. Uh, A times V could actually be the zero vector if, if lambda is, is a zero eigenvalue. Uh, and then on the bottom, I have something that's just got to be strictly positive. When I divide something greater than or equal to zero by something greater than zero, I get something that's greater than or equal to zero. So lambda squared is greater than or equal to zero, which means I can take the square root of it, and lambda is a real number. Next, let's prove that if A is a symmetric matrix, then the eigenvectors associated with distinct eigenvalues are orthogonal. So let's take lambda 1 and lambda 2 to be distinct eigenvalues. And that is, they're different numbers. So, and let's let v1 and v2 be eigenvectors for lambda 1 and lambda 2, respectively. Okay, so what we want to show is that v1 dotted with v2 is 0. But I'm going to start instead by looking at lambda v1 dotted with v2. So that's the same thing as the matrix A times v1 dotted with v2, which is the same thing as taking A times v1, that column vector, transposing it to a row vector, and multiplying, doing matrix multiplication with v2. Now I'll rewrite that transpose as V1 transpose A transpose V2, but A transpose is the same thing as A, since A is symmetric. And since V2 is an eigenvector of A with eigenvalue lambda 2, that's the same thing as V1 transpose 
lambda 2, V2. So if I pull out the lambda 2, V1 transpose V2, that's the same thing as lambda 2 V1 dotted with V2. Therefore, I have lambda 1 times V1 dot V2 is equal to lambda 2 V1 dot V2. If I pull everything over to the left side and factor out the V1 dot V2, I know that lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is not 0 since lambda 1 and lambda 2 are distinct. And therefore, v1 dot v2 must also be 0. So we've now proved these two facts about the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of symmetric matrices. The key components of the proof were the definition of eigenvalues and eigenvectors, the definition of symmetric matrices, and this key idea of rewriting dot product in terms of the transpose of the first vector to turn it into a row vector, a matrix multiplied by the second vector, column vector.